हे गाइस दिस इज अचिंत गोमत इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फाइव कोडिंग प्लेटफॉर्म दैट यू मस्ट कोड अपॉन इफ यू वांट टू गेट अ जॉब इन योर ड्रीम company you can use this platform for dsa for cp and as well as for preparing for your interview fourth platform out of these five platform is mandatory you cannot afford to miss that platform so make sure you watch the video till the end so let's start the video before we begin the video i would like to thank you thank you everyone for choosing to watch our video subscribing to our channel i know you have lot of options thank you so much for choosing us and along with this i would like to make a humble request please like the video we have a target of 250 like also subscribe to our channel 60% students who watch our video they don't subscribe so please subscribe so that you get to know about all the openings all the video that we post so keeping that aside let's start the video so first platform i am going to talk about is a very beginner platform it's not about dsa cp or anything it's about some basic coding that you can start straight away if you don't know coding if you haven't studied coding you are a school student or you are just started from first year so first platform is hacker rank you must have definitely heard about it it's a beginner friendly uh, platform you can select any language c++ java python you can learn the basics from youtube watch some videos and you can jump right at hacker rank so you can start solving you can go to the dashboard of the platform select the language and start solving from first second third four five six problems you can solve at least 50 problems here so you will get to know like how to approach a problem how to read test cases how to take an input you will understand all of that format which will be useful for you throughout your journey you can participate in contests in hacker rank if you want there are few contests which will happen some companies will also conduct tests on hacker rank as well but if you don't want it's also fine because contests don't happen that frequently on hacker rank in the future journey of your coding so hacker rank is okay to begin your coding but its credential is not that valuable no offense to hacker rank i am just stating a reality if you add its rank like some badge or like people share on linkedin students share on linkedin it's not that valuable as compared to other coding platforms so i'm just telling you you a reality a reality check so its credentials are not that valued instead you can use that time and create those cred credential on other coding platform so it's good to start coding but not to master it so just solve 40 50 problems in any language and move to the next platform in the first platform we did basic coding in the second platform we are going to start dsa problem data structures and algorithm second platform is lead code i hope you have heard about it so in this we are going to do dsa lead code has the best set of dsa problem across all platforms for coding that are available so in this you get a very rich set of problems which are uh, divided into uh, different segments topic wise you can also select them difficulty wise so you can select array go from basic medium and hard select stack go from basic medium and hard so you can different different types of problem you can attempt so how many problems you can attempt so there is no fixed number but in order to cover all the length and breadth of topic there are so many topics stack q linked list three graph dynamic programming greedy algorithm and so many topics beyond that graph tree etc in order to cover that it will take you at least 250 to 300 problem that's why we say attempt at least 300 to 350 or even more problems on lead code because that is necessary to cover all the syllabus so there is no minimum bar kya 300 करने साढ़े तीन सौ करने ऐसा कुछ नहीं है यू जस्ट हैव टू कवर द होल लेंथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑफ डीएसए सिलेबस सो दैट विल टेक यू एटलीस्ट थ्री हंड्रेड और मोर प्रॉब्लम टू डू that so lead code is good for dsa learning or preparing for any specific company you can get tags for specific company but its credential is not that valued so no offense to lead code but its credential is not that valued if you add in your resume or give it to any company selection form third platform that we are going to talk about is the best portal for theoretical knowledge related to computer science you must have get correctly guessed correctly it is gfg geeks for geeks recently only they launched their practice set of problem where you can practice coding as well prior to that it was just a, a theory based plat portal where you can just get knowledge about cs related subject so it's around 2 years i think so for theory it's perfect for coding you can also do the uh, students are growing uh, in numbers are participating on gfg but i like lead code better so it's up to you which you like so you can switch between lead code and gfg for your dsa preparation you can see which uh, problem is there on which platform and which you want to do if you are following any dsa sheet so you can juggle between them so it's, this platform is also good for dsa learning but the value of credentials of gfg yet again no offense to gfg i have said it three times for three platforms but its credential value is not that good to add in your resume or to give it to some company selection form okay so do it for learning not for the credentials now we come to the fourth platform also let me know in the comments like which students 
guessed it correctly like which is the most important coding platform for students if you want to get a job as a software developer in a good company so please let me know in the comments so for the students who got it right it's codechef codechef without any doubt is the most important platform if you want a good job in any product company okay so you have to code on codechef if you want a job of at least 8 lpa 10 lpa and beyond okay so this is a platform from where cp starts so what is competitive programming the general definition is wherever you do competition of programming so that is what you call competitive programming so wherever you are doing a contest related to coding it becomes competitive programming but in the context of software industries where hiring happens in india whenever you code on codechef and code forces it means competitive programming coding on hacker and gfg on lead code doesn't mean competitive programming so please make sure a lot of students confuse i ask them ki yaar kya kar rahe ho so they will say sir cp kar raha hu maine kaha kar rahe ho sir hacker rank pe hai na to hacker rank pe cp nahi hoti hai cp doesn't happen on hacker rank cp only happens on code chef and code forces okay please make sure of that so cp begins on code chef and code forces only so you can begin cp and master here as well start start solving problems here even when i started my btech it was very popular in 2012 and 13 and it was also popular prior to that i think it started in 2009 or 10 i am not sure so it's there for like 12 13 years so it's a time tested platform for coding problem so start solving from basic medium hard problem solve it is 30 40 problems in each category on its website okay that's how you improve your coding solving skills solve at least 200 problems and then start participating in contest long challenges month long short challenges cook off whichever you want to participate the credentials of code chef is the best and most respected if you want to add any credentials then code chef it is for any company for your resume to your friends to your college wherever you want to give your stars rating of code chef is the best reference to give i know rating credential is not a criteria but still some rating matters like a company wants to evaluate some candidates they get application for let's say 20000 students so they want to get some idea like who is good so what they will ask they will ask their coding skills they will evaluate their coding skills so they will give some written test hai na so they will want to judge on some criteria so they will ask for criteria of code chef star or something else so it just as a parameter for them to evaluate you so code chef ratings matter so how much is good anything above 4 and above is good so if you are 2 or 3 so make sure you reach at least 4 star okay. fifth and the last platform you should code upon is code forces uh, if you are proficient in code for code chef four platform is mandatory 1 2 3 4 4 okay fifth platform code forces is optional it's only needed in certain specific companies uh, it's only famous for certain short contests of 2 hours and 3 hours so if you want to go in those specific companies then you should code on code forces you must participate contest on it one or two contest you can participate in a month uh, credentials of it are also very valued so you can definitely get some good uh, credentials from it to add in your resume uh, expert is good anything above expert including expert and above is good uh, master and candidate master to best hai, but expert is also good so that's all i wanted to tell you about these five platform but apart from this i would like to say some comments on other platform which are available first is interview bit so interview bit is a specific platform which you can practice uh, for interview preparation it's a great platform there is a set of around 3 30 problems available on it which you can prepare for specific companies so you can definitely grow uh, go and try it second is hacker earth it's also a good coding platform uh, it comes in the category of cp but i personally don't find it that helpful so a lot of student uh, do it along with uh, code chef etc so they do code chef they do hacker earth as well there is also third platform spot so they also do code chef hacker earth spot so it comes in the category of cp top coder is also there that is also for good quality programmers they also do code chef spot hacker earth and top coder so it comes in that category apart from that there are also some other coding platform uh, they are used for certain specific purposes so if you want to go for those purposes then you can try but i talked about five most common platform um, among those four are mandatory first four code forces is optional okay so if you have any queries please let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like the video or sorry subscribe the channel and like the video